Bawa, I'm coming to the assignment on SD implementation, SD one implementation. All of online team, uh, able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. What is your previous work, sir? You have a delta table. Delta file. And implemented SCD for employee table. Okay. Now I want to mix off. Incremental loading for single table and SCD work for single table. This is our assignment number one. Okay. See, for the incremental load. What is how done? Please check it. This is your previous one. Old mark, old watermark, new watermark of a single table. Remember, you read with a single table. With a single table. Old, old watermark, new watermark. This is fetching from watermark table. This is fetching from source table. What is new motor work value? Maximum of last modified time. The last modified time can be insert, can be update, whatever it may be. You have to take that. And after that, in copy data, where last modified time, that means watermark column, greater than old watermark less than or equal to new water that data you have fetched using select query as sub source if source is the rdbms you have three options what are those table query stored processes these three things you can configure as source. That's why you could able to give the query. You did not select any table name. Here you did not select any table name. Only query. Got it? So the related data is fetched and copied into your target. The target is data lake. Data lake file. Data lake container we have given. Okay, and after that, stored procedure for update. Think that you are work, implementing this from scratch onwards. Phase number one incremental load for single data. Okay. Run this pipeline for five times. at five different time events. This is for testing of your pipeline. So what will happen? Your table is employee. Employee iPhone. Some pipeline run ID. This is what, what will happen for this? First time if you run, full load will happen, full copy. First time whatever the work is happening, that is full copy. Because every record is less than, every record uh, last modified time is greater than old watermark value. 
next one works the next file will be like this pipeline let's say run to run id run to this is increment one employee p run to this is increment two employee p run previous one p run three p run four increment three this will happen all these things are available in a container my tenants got it let's say the container my yes only for i'm talking about employee so the first of uh, create a pipeline your task is like this create a pipeline for incremental load for single table the pipeline name incremental one under assignment one this is task one and for testing run this pipeline for five times so that five files you will be getting what are the five files suppose five times if you run means employee pipeline run id which is five which is a different id this is increment four one full copy four incremental copies one full copy and four incremental copies for okay got it till now scd is not yet implemented but already your inputs are ready your task to the task to implement scd work what the work we have done in the previous class got it implement scd work for all employee source files and reflect in reflect what which which means what Upset. 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 Record updated or inserted. Got it. Hmm. Reflect major upset in target Azure SQL or it can be Synapse. What are the thing? If you don't have Synapse account, just implement the same thing in Azure SQL. With a different schema or same schema. Suppose DBO is your input schema. Target for target table, give other different. Source table employee. What columns it has? Class modifier. Dump all the data into data lake because for this implementation, don't push the things directly into the target. Take help of staging area, data lake. Hmm. Implement SD1 for all the source files and reflect into target levels. Okay. Once the SD1 pipeline executed. Source files should be removed. Source files should be removed. So that means what files you are expecting? Pipeline run one, run two, run three, run four, run five. All these files should be removed. Now 
Now, how many files are there in the, my EMP container? Zero files. Once this data has been completely merged into the target table, no need of the staging files. I want to remove. In case of copy, source and sync, if you check for the options, once data moved into the sync, there are options. The source files to be de deleted. You just to verify what is that option. Do investigation. Investigation is not right word. Do explore about that. Got it. In copy, in, in source and sync options, you have this option. Once data moved to the sync, source file automatically deleted. If you configure that option, the first iteration, this file is merged with upset operation. Understand? In second file, once that is completely updated, automatically this file is removed. This file is removed. In the second iteration, it takes second file. That is reflected into the target and then removed. This kind of uh, sequential removal will happen for each and every file. Finally, what happens after completion of all this stuff? Completely your container became empty or not? All latest updations and latest insertions are available into the target or not? Understand? Five days back, this was data. This was reflected in target. Four days back, this was data. These are the changes that is reflected into the target. Got it. And third day, fourth day, fifth day. Got it. In just one single pipeline, it reads data one by one and reflect into will reflect into the target with SAD implementation with the upset operation. Got it. Already you have seen that. Automatically, if you configure that uh, source delish option, once data moved into the sync, automatically files will be deleted. Suppose if there is no option, create one more pipeline to delete all the things. Got it. There is an activity called delete activity. From the pipelines, if you drag delete, if you pass the file name at the rate item dot name, automatically the file will be removed. Understand? Okay. But we have predefined option. Try to use that option. If there is no option, try to use delete activity. Understood? Okay. This is implemented. Again, rerun incremental load for two times. Satish, once data got merged into the target, what the task again? Rerun incremental load for two times. What is the uh, pipeline for this? What is the pipeline for the incremental load? Incremental one. I want to rerun this incremental one. Whenever I run this, what will happen? Again, one more file will be generated. Employee pipeline run six will be generated. Again, in the second time, and before running this, do some changes in the data. Without doing the changes, don't run it. Okay, do some changes in the data. Seventh time, if you run, Pipeline 7 will be generated. Again, re execute task 2. Whenever I execute task 2, this time what files? What will be the first file? Already the first five files have, have been deleted. Next time, if I run this task 2, what will happen? In the first iteration, it has to take pipeline run ID 6. And that will be reflected into the target. Again, next time, after running the pipeline run ID 6, this file is removed. After that, same thing for 7. And then 7 file is removed. Always your staging area is fresh. 
once it has implemented in the target, the source file is deleted. So that no need to worry every time whether this file is already loaded or not loaded or not, no need to check it. Always latest delta will be there into your container. Latest delta only will be there into the container because yes, CD executed after that source file delete. Again, tomorrow incremental load is implemented. At the time, first seven files not available. Tomorrow, what will happen? Eighth run ID, ninth run ID, tenth run ID will be there. Yeah. Think that the daily ones you are implementing incremental load. At the time, daily one file only will be getting. Always one file will be there. Understood? So this is what our operation, what we are going to do. So this is the task only for single table as assignment number one. I hope at least I gave you a lot of assignments, but nobody submitted me at least except one or two persons. Understood. I am expecting answer from all of you about this. Hmm? Okay, this is assignment number one. I am extending this assignment. Assignment two. Do same work of assignment one. For multiple tables with the different watermark columns. With the different watermark columns. Understood all of you? So online team, did you understand my task? Assignment one and assignment two, did you understand this? I'm not able to hear you, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. So this implementation I'm expecting from you. Hmm? Take your own time. I'm not giving any deadline for this. At least before end of this weekend, you submit me this asset. Incremental load work, you know, for the single table. For the multiple tables, you know, I have demonstrated. At the time of working with multiple tables, if no changes happen in a particular table, in our target data, like empty file is being created. How to, this is runtime bug, not error. How to solve this bug? I have explained in incremental three, especially for the second assignment, you have to use incremental three. Just look at your incremental three once again. This is single table implementation. This is a multiple tables implementation. In the multiple tables implementation, if you go for the activities, the activities are four here. Under sub activity, incremental load one is there, but we parameterize this. So dynamically, at each iteration dynamically, one value being passed. But still there is a bug. What is that bug? If there are 10 tables, change happened in only one table. In the remaining nine tables, there is no change. That is no delta produced, but still it is taking all the files. Nine empty files it is creating. That is bug. To solve that bug, we go for, we went for incremental load three. So to implement this uh, second assignment, I want incremental incremental three. Once incremental three completed, then for that for multiple tables, yes, CD. This is what my task. Look at this for each. What additionally we have done? Same four activities, but style we changed it. Here we previously we said in the third position, 
copy now no copy look up what is look up one old mark up old water mark new water mark here how many records are there with the previous query we applied a count of star if count is zero we are not doing any operation if count is non zero then only we are implementing copy operation look at false understand some small modification we have done to solve that problem so with incremental load 3 i want this assignment to after that scd your previous scd is working for single table now i want that scd for employee table within the employee five four or five actions again sales four or five actions understand same previous assignment one i want to i want to do it for each and every table okay in fact it seems to be a task it is a project so while explaining your uh, our projects explain such kind of operations again in between them data stage data stages what is that staging area remember some technical terms hmm. now i have one more question here for you okay definitely you will be succeeded really if you concentrate for 3 to 4 hours for this you will be succeeded into this task but the thing is why staging area is required my question a house source your azure sql what you have done data lake as staging let's say synapse as your target what you are doing extracting the delta by using that query where last modified time greater than old watermark and less than or equal to new watermark and then load into data lake after that data lake to synapse yes cd this is the work you are doing my question meaning i will copy this why don't you directly implement this as cd there is pay Your previous work style is this one. Here, what is happening? Incremental load happening. Once incremental load succeeded, here, yes, CD you are implementing. My question meaning, I want to remove the staging area. directly my source is there target ready incremental merge i want to do without stage in the from the source i take only i extract only delta sir for that delta for the received delta directly i will apply offset sir what's the problem why delta lake required here please come up with one answer at least tomorrow to me understood why staging area is required here sir it's like a parking area where we can perform various transformation it's so right I, I i i am not asking for optimization sir what are the optimizations that you have in data state data lake Think that that kind of options are available in Snaps. Understood. In every ETL process, not only in Azure Data Engineer products, in every ETL process there will be a staging area. My question: What is the need of staging area? 
of course a data lake has its own benefits definitely what happens if i directly implement this red line sir it's not possible that uh, our source will be available all the time for us why not man like might be for some period of time if the source is not available then you know if we perform transformation at source level then it will uh, be i i don't want any transformation sir we are considering only a incremental load what are all the changes happening in my database daily night i will reflect into my target what are all the changes happen daily i want to reflect in my target the two with the scd style whether scd 1 or 2 or 3 whatever the things that you want that you want to implement i am not expecting any additional transformations so only as as in acid one what are the transformations nothing as this we are loading and updating okay of course if you go for acid 2 another insertion version for versioning a little transformation Any answer? Okay, please try to come with one answer at least by tomorrow. Hmm? We we'll try it. But uh, who said the previous answer, sir? One person said. I did not check the name. Prashant, yes, sir. Hmm? Prashant, put it. Yeah, Prashant. Your answer is very close, but uh, try to mature it. Hmm? Okay. Your answer is very near and very close. Hmm? But try to mature that answer, shape the shape of beauty. Hmm? Okay, sir. Yeah. So all of you, just uh, I'm stopping the recording and immediately join the same meeting, sir. For next level discussion. Don't go, don't no break, immediately join.